Hi, welcome back to Cotton Creations. Today I'm bringing you another vegan recipe. And as promised, I am featuring pumpkin today. So all my pumpkin lovers out there, this video is all for you and it will be featuring my Cotton Creations cornbread mix. So if you're interested in this video, please stay tuned. But before we hop into it, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on all the amazing videos I have coming your way. Let's hop into it. Here's what you'll need for this recipe, some unsweetened vegan milk, vegan butter, ground cinnamon, vanilla extract, pumpkin pie spice, some pumpkin puree, and of course to start the show, Cotton Creations Honey Pecan Cornbread Mix. So first we're going to prepare our Cotton Creations Cornbread Mix, exactly how it states on the back of the bag. Add the melted vegan butter and the milk and just give that a whisk and then we're going to set that aside and then we're going to move on to the pumpkin puree. So what we're going to do is we're going to combine the pumpkin puree with the ground cinnamon, the pumpkin pie spice and the vanilla extract and we're going to make sure that is mixed very well together and then what we're going to do is we're going to combine that with our cotton creations cornbread mix that we have sitting aside Once you've combined your pumpkin puree mixture with your Cotton Creations cornbread mix and your batter is very well blended and mixed together, you want to go ahead and add this to a greased pan or to a muffin pan. And if you didn't catch everything in today's video, I did put the recipe down in the description box down below. And what we're going to do is we're going to take those candied pecans that come in your Cotton Creations cornbread mix and add those to the tops of your batter. Now, if you got the option without the nuts, then you can just simply skip this step. And then we're going to go ahead and pop it into the oven. And don't those look good? Now I cook mine for about 40 to 45 minutes on 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, depending on your oven, you may need less or more time. So just simply take a toothpick and um, do the toothpick test to see if they are done. Once they are done, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and top those either with your vegan um, honey packet and combine that with some butter and drizzle it on top or with some pure maple syrup today i opted for the peel pure maple syrup and they were so delicious and then um put them back in the oven for about five minutes and then i know you guys can't wait to see what they look like inside so these are super 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 soft and moist and yummy with the fall pumpkin flavor check that out come on now and I know some of you guys want to see what it looks like inside. So let's go ahead and open this baby up. Mmm. Come on, steam. And it got a little too hot for me. So I had to hurry up and put it down. All right. So let me know what you guys think of this recipe. Like I said, it's super, super, super easy. And... You know, pumpkin is an amazing flavor, especially around the holiday season, Thanksgiving, fall, all those things just, you know, make you want to eat pumpkin flavored things. So this is another one that you can add. Um, and I actually, before, you know, the cold winter weather is gone, I'm going to do a couple more features of pumpkin items for the holiday season and just for, you know, that fall, winter, cozy weather um so make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you're not turn the bell notification on so you know when i post and if you like this video you know do give me a thumbs up and let me know what you guys think down in the comment section thanks for watching mm -hmm.